But with regards to this garden, as Jesus himself chastises and challenges those who believe that they're the chosen ones and no one else is allowed in, he says, you better change your mind. You better change your heart because all are welcome. We have that as our parish mission. All are welcome into our church. And how our celebration of Mass and as a community changes hearts. People know that they are loved, respected, and accepted. Yes, as I said before, decisions people make may not be the right decisions. But yet, as many people have said before, love your brother and sister, for that is the greatest commandment of all. And these are uplifting words because the garden is meant for all of us. But let us continue to tend the garden with, when it comes to how we treat one another and our, as ourselves. For sometimes we might find ourselves in the darkest place of light, of, of day, of our life. And we seek the Lord to help us climb out of that hole I know myself, I have been in that dark hole my, as well. Not because of the drink or the drugs, but because of mental illness, when I had a mental breakdown. But it was through the, through the help of other people that I was brought forth from that darkness to the light and to know that there is help. So if you know of anybody who is struggling with mental illness, or if you are, it's not an albatross. It's something to talk about. It's something that just a person gets over like a cold, but it's something that grips a person. Because the Lord wants us all to live in the light, to live in the light, believe in the power of prayer.